I didn't have any qualifications. So Impala helped me a lot because I got my end courses through Impala Study Aid. They paid my, 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 my fees at the college and I'm very happy because they gave us a chance, we women, that we can make it in the mining industry. It has a very high impact on a social development, especially around the area. And all young people just from the school, they get here, they get qualified, they, they are groomed to become a better people in, in their lives. I had to work during the day, at night, studying, and then I'm, I'm, I'm a mother of one, so it wasn't easy at all. But if you have a love for something, you, you, you're going to do it. You're going to do it, and I'm glad that I've, I've done it and look where I am today. I'm, a, I'm, I'm in a leadership. I'm about to be an, a qualified artisan because now I'm doing my pre-trade. I'm now a technical trainer. I've been a technical trainer from 2010. At the moment, I'm also still studying to, to grow on the knowledge that we do have, specifically on my, my field of, of uh, career. Our skills development strategy uh, must be a, a sustainable one. And it focuses mainly on safety and competency. We would like to make sure that uh, our, all our employees know what they are doing, they have the competence skills, and they are also safe in what they are doing. For now, I just want to pursue my studies. I want to get my a degree in mechanical engineering so that I can go further. Maybe I can be a foreman from the junior engineer. To operate productively, one has to have safe and uh, productive employees. And if we look at our training, we've upped that in the last three years. Uh, extensive training for, for our supervisors, extensive team mobilization activities where we're really spending time with our teams so that they can work together, they can work safely, they all understand their roles and responsibilities, uh, as well as all of the other, uh, what I call zero incident process, which is focusing on zero harm which we've, we've uh, completed with, with management and we, we're doing with our, our supervisors right now. All of that training is absolutely essential if we want to achieve zero harm and at the same time increase our productivity. Productivity is one of the big issues that the whole industry faces and for us to be successful, we have to increase our productivity.